Hi there, it's Michael Ackerman coming to you from Seattle, Washington, where I am a realtor with Cobalt Banker Bain. Today's video blog is for all you buyers out there that are pro possibly purchasing a home or in the process of purchasing a home. And that is, you should always perform a sewer scope. I did a video blog on this um, a couple months ago where the technology now exists that sewer companies can send uh, cameras down the sewer line to see what kind of shape it's in. Sellers probably don't know what kind of shape their sewer line's in unless they've done significant work to it in recent years or unless it's caused them some problems, or unless they've done a sewer scope themselves. If they haven't, they probably have no idea what's going on under the ground. And you as a buyer who really should educate yourself on what's happening with that line. Today's video blog is kind of a piggyback on the one that I did about the importance of sewer scopes. And today's is about the importance of doing sewer scopes, not only on older homes, but on new homes as well. And I'm gonna tell you two stories, and this is why it's important. I sold a home last year, uh, or, yeah, early 2012, and it had been built in 2000. Uh, and the buyer didn't really think we needed to do a sewer scope because he said, well, the sewer line is going to be newer and we really, you know, I don't know if I want to spend the money. They run between $200 and $250, by the way. I said, let's do one. It can't hurt. It's good money to spend. You'll have a record of the, you know, how, of the sewer line and its current condition when you go to sell. So we did one and found out that the home that had originally been built on that lot that was built in 1940, the builder of the new home had just connected the new home to the old sewer line. So the old sewer line was from 1940 and had some issues. So we negotiated with the seller and got some money for the buyer and he was able to fix the sewer line. I just sold a brand new construction last fall, uh, built in 2012, and it had a brand new sewer line. The developer said, yeah, we put in a new sewer line. I told the buyers, let's still do one. Let's still do a sewer scope. So we did a sewer scope. Lines brand new until about 10 feet from where it connects to the city sewer line out in the street. It, they had connected the new sewer line, which is PVC plastic, to the old concrete sewer line, which is fine, except about five feet past where it connected, the line had disintegrated, and the developer had no idea. So we had the developer put in a new section of that pipe uh, to you know replace it to make it solid from the house all the way out to where it connected to the city street. So the lesson today from this blog is, even if you're buying brand new construction, Still do a sewer scope. It's a really good record for you to have, and you never know what's going to happen. I just gave you two examples of things that I didn't expect to have happen, and neither did the buyers, but we were all really, really glad that we did a sewer scope. It's really worth a $200 or $250 investment. If you have any other questions about real estate in general, feel free to email me at michaelackerman at cbbain.com. And do remember, it's all about the connection.